Hi children, very good morning to all. It's me Asha. So we have started our tenth chapter, a tale of a stick. So we have discussed the summary of this lesson in the previous class. Today I will read and explain the lesson, and we can discuss the new words with its meanings. So all of you take your textbook, page number sixty-one, lesson ten, tale of a stick. So in the previous class we have discussed we have different types of sticks, match stick. A broomstick, drumstick, is it? So here they are given a simple exercise. Listen that. Get started. Match the pictures to the words. Here they are given four types of sticks, and below they are written the names. First one matchstick, second one drumstick, third one walking stick, broomstick. So we need to match the pictures with its real name. Then the main characters in the story: stick, tot, cat. Hen, farmer Brown, cow, and old woman. One day, Stick walks along a road. Click, clack, clunk. He meets Toad. So one day, the main character, Stick, he was walk around a road. Suddenly, he met a Toad. Then what happened? Stick, hello, hello. Toad, so green. Do you need me? Then our Stick asked to the Toad, "You look so green. Do you need me?" What was the reply? Toad. Repeat, repeat. No, no. I don't want you. And he makes a sound like that. Repeat, repeat. Toad hops away. Soon, stick meets cat. And Toad hops away from there. After that, he meets a cat. Stick. Hello, hello. Cat so furry. Do you need me? Here, furry means comfortable. Cat replied, meow. No, no. Cat runs away. By and by. What do you mean by by and by? After some time. Stick meets hen. After some time, first he met toad, then he met a cat, and after some time he met a hen. Stick, hello, hello, hen. So, cluckety, do you need me? Hen, cluckety, cluck. No, no. Hen starts to peck at stick with her beak. Then he met a hen, and he asked the hen, "Do you need me?" And our hen replied, "No, I don't want you to peck at the stick. What do you mean by peck?" Yes, bite something with a beak that we can call peck. So our hen started to peck at the stick. That's why our stick ran away from the stick. No, no, this is not for me. Stick runs away from hen. Next, stick meets Farmer Brown. Farmer Brown is going home with his cow. And after hen, he he is walking. He is continuing his walking. Then he met a farmer. His name is Brown. He was going to his home with his cow. Stick, hello, hello, Farmer Brown. Do you need me? Then he asked the farmer the same question. Do you need me, Farmer Brown? Molly, Molly, I need you for my cows. And he replied that I need you for my cows. Farmer Brown grabs sticks and smacks cow. What do you mean by grabs? He yeah, takes hold of suddenly to take something suddenly that we can call grab. And what do you mean by smack? Yeah, our farmer Brown smack the cow. What do you mean by smack? Yeah, hit hardly. That we can call smack. Cow loudly mow. See after see after hitting what happened? Yeah, the cow started to cry mow. Stick. No, no, this is not for me. And uh, our stick he did not like to hurt anyone. That's why he decided to mow from the. Stick jumped out of Farmer Brown's hand and ran away. Clickety clackety clunk down the road. Then he ran away from there to down the road. Soon Stick meets an old woman. She is bent over and has a grey scarf. What do you mean by bent over? The old woman became curved because she was old. And our old woman, she is an old person. That's why she is looking like a curve. Okay. So bend over means the old woman became curved because she was so old. And what do you mean by scarf? Yeah, scarf means a piece of cloth you wear around your head or neck to keep warm. So a piece of cloth that you wear around your head or neck that we can call scarf. So our old woman she was wearing a scarf. Stick. Hello, hello, old lady. Do you need me? And stick asks. Hello, old lady. Do you need me? 
ओल्ड वुमन ओ ये गुड डे फाइन डे लेकी डे बिकॉज अवर ओल्ड वुमन शी वॉज सर्चिंग फॉर हेल्प टू वर्क एट दैट टाइम दिस टीक आस द क्वेश्चन डू यू नीड मी एंड शी बिकेम सो हैप्पी एंड शी रिप्लाइड या इट्स ए लेकी डे फॉर मी इट्स ए फाइन डे फॉर मी द ओल्ड वुमन लीन्स ऑन स्टिक टू वर्क वॉट यू मीन बे लीन्स ऑन रेस्ट ऑन द स्टिक फॉर सपोर्ट she rest on the stick for support that we can call lean song the old woman leans on stick to walk so stick says and they go down the road together clickety clackety clunk and both of them go down the road together clickety clackety clunk so this story is taken from the book a tale of stick written by regnal down so it's a simple part the real name of that book is a tale of stick so they have taken a small part from that book so do you love the story yeah it's a story of a stick and he met so many persons finally he helped the old woman to walk see from page number 62 you can see some comprehend questions we can discuss that one first question why does stick run away from cat why does he run away from the cat Yes, because our stick understood that when he did not need our stick, that's why he ran away from there. And the second question: What does hen do to stick? What does hen do to stick? Yeah, hen started to pick at the stick. That's why he started to run away from there. And the next question: Why does farmer brown need stick? Yes, why does farmer brown need stick? Yes, because we we discussed that when he was going to his home with his cows, he want to beat the cow using this stick. That's why he said yes to the stick. And the last question: Why does stick run away from Farmer Brown? Yes, so our stick he does not want to hurt any other animal. That's why he ran away from our Farmer Brown. And discuss the new words with its meanings. New words: first one by and by. by and by means after some time second one peck peck means bite something with a beak third one grabs farmer brown grabs the stick what's the meaning of grab yes takes hold of suddenly takes something suddenly and the next one smacks smacks means hit hard farmer brown smack the cow smack means hit hard and the next one is bend over bend over means bend down here they are given the meaning the old woman became curved because she was old and the next one scarf s c a r f scarf scarf means a piece of cloth around the head or neck that we can call scarf and the last one leans on leans on means rest on the stick for support our old woman leans on the stick that means rest on the stick for support so the words are by and by peck grabs smacks bend over scarf and the last one is leans on write and study the spellings well write the notes neatly in your english notebook then write and study write and study the spelling of the new words and understand the meanings In the next class, we will discuss the question answers from this lesson. So, read the textbook. Have you any doubt? You can call me. Every day, you should read the lesson. Okay, children. So, we can meet in the next classroom. Children, take care. Bye.